So you just made a new character in Pal World and you have no idea where to start. All right, so here's a very basic quick start guide for how to get started. All right, so what do you want to do first is pick up stones, sticks and stones. So find stones, find sticks, find more sticks. Don't worry about combat yet. These won't, these won't fight you. They're too cute and adorable. They will not mess with you. So just find sticks and stones. That's all you gotta do, just find a few. Get this paladrium, get some red berries, why not? Get some more red berries. Just collect all this basic stuff around here. Get as many sticks as you can find in this starting area. Don't go too far away from here. There's no need for that yet. I know you're eager to explore, you wanna become the next pal master, but that is not what we're here for yet. All right, then B, I don't know what it is on console. All right, you wanna build a primitive workbench. So this is gonna be used to make your first things. You have to actually hold F here to build it. So you have to drop the blueprint and then actually fill it out and select recipe. Uh, make the stone pickaxe or the stone axe, sorry. Start production, craft it. Then you have to collect it, same thing. And then if we want to make a stone pickaxe, what we can do now is we have an ax now. So we can actually chop these trees down and we get a ton of wood. You can see the wood collecting on the side there. You don't have to necessarily drop it down. You can just like hit it a few times and you get wood from it. All right, so now we have a ton of wood. Now we can craft a pickaxe. Start production. All right, now we take the pickaxe. You can start mining certain rocks for stone. Stone and wood are like the, the bare bones things, the functional things you need to start creating your base and start getting basic supplies. All right, we get some stone, and now we're gonna go over here. What's over here? These blue blocks, we'll call them. <laughs> they're, really, they're really ores, but we'll call them blue blocks. You have to wait for your energy to come back. We're gonna mine these bad boys to get ourselves some Pokeballs. <laughs> some Pokeballs. They're definitely not Pokeballs, they're pal spheres so don't get confused there's also a chest over here which is kind of nice let's grab that get some stuff take some stones any sticks and stones you see you want to pick those up so we're gonna mine these all right I have to wait a minute for our energy to regen you can look at my dude's awesome biceps while you're waiting for that And there we go. All right, we leveled up a little bit. Fantastic. We'll get some more stones and sticks on the way if we see any. And for good measure, let's take out one more tree just to get ourselves started with some basic supplies. All right, that should be good. We got enough wood, we got enough stones. We can now create the pal spheres to start catching dudes. All right, let me actually climb up this. You can't jump when your meter's in, re in the red or climb so you can climb by jumping into things but if you hit uh the red if you run out of meter you will start sliding down just like in zelda all right so now we need to craft these balls here but we can't yet because we have to go to technology so as you did that you leveled up and as you level up you get technology points so we can actually unlock the pal sphere for one of those you can unlock the pal box you can unlock other things. Uh, I would recommend getting wooden chest, uh, bed, bow, arrows. And this is on hard mode, so your XP gain will be reduced in hard mode, like mine is, but you'll still level up and be able to get these things. You want cloth, this, just get all this stuff. Repair bench, repair bench is useful. And you're gonna want this wooden structure thing too, eventually. Uh, but for now, let's just make some pal spheres. Let's make as many as we can. All right, now when you capture these things, it's just like in Pokemon. You want to actually damage them a bit. You don't want to kill them. They are dangerous. You can dodge. Now we leveled up. So what should we get? We leveled up, right? I kind of recommend getting health for now. I don't know that this is the best, but the damage scaling is quite poor. And having health is good because then you don't die. <laughs> so... For combat, health is really good. Obviously, weight is good for carrying stuff. Work speed is good for crafting. So depending on what you want to go for, but you can't go wrong with health for the first two levels. Um, okay, and then we can also create a wooden club. 
to whack a pal with. They don't have to equip the pal spheres. It just automatically has them. You do need to equip the whacking stick, though. That's what we're going to be using to get our first boy over here. So you want to find one that's weak, like this cat here. Now, if you're in hard mode, you can dodge with default control. I changed it to V, though. But you can start whacking these dudes. If you find a level one, they'll be easier to fight. So just hit them and move to the side. Get it kind of low, then hit Q. Should have pretty high success rate. So this is your very first dude. You can hit E to deploy them. They're gonna be low HP. If they faint, you can capture them or return them and then take them back to your base, they'll start healing. Now these will help you fight immediately. So if you wanna go ahead and catch a new one, like let's say, where's that one that was just over here? I just saw him, it's leveled, another level, low level one. We can fight this level two in a second. He will start to heal over time. So like while he's healing, we can just gather more resources to get more pal balls. Now that green thing down there, you can kind of see it. That's a good resource for upgrading, so you'll want to get that eventually, but just to get you started, we now have a boy on our team. He's very aggressive. He, he knows what we want to do, and that's get more of him. <laughs> so this guy's running away. <laughs> this one's level three though. I think we can take him. I believe in us. Part of, part of being successful in this game is belief in yourself and ignorance of math. All right, so let's <laughs> get back here. What are you doing? Right, let's whack him a few times. All right, so he dropped out. Bam, midair. We got it? I bet we get it. We got a sweet midair. You can throw these things while falling. You do have to aim them too. Also keep in mind, there are certain states enemies can be in where the ball can do nothing to them. It just like goes through them and wastes it. You can't pick them up when you miss either. It's just like Pokeballs and Pokemon. If you throw it and you don't hit it, or if you don't capture, it just gets used. Then of course you can always climb back up, which is nice. But we now have two pals. We can switch between them with one and three. You can return one, uh, switch the other one, throw the higher level one out. So this one's level three. Also notice that they will start gathering resources. These ones go after rocks and will start gathering you rocks. So if you want, what you can do is go to structures, make a wooden chest. Oh, we're at a, all right, we need to gather some stuff. So we can gather, we'll get some wood really quick, we'll get some stone, then we can make a wooden chest and they'll start depositing it into the chest for you. And you can actually set up your base so that they automatically do this. It's pretty nice. So we'll just gather some more stuff, continue on in our little adventure. We have two pals though, which is good. And that one's actually gathering stone that he will pick up and store or you can pick up all right let's go help him out so he's just gathering stone for us and helping us mine this they also help you craft so just having one deployed increases crafting times or decreases crafting times i should say so they're very efficient and sometimes while mining rocks you get paldrium paldium fragments which is used for crafting the pal balls all right, so let's hit B. Now we can make a wooden chest. Just throw it here. So right now it says 10 seconds to completion. So he's mining right now, otherwise he would come help me. And each pal does different things. So some pals will mine, some pals will chop down trees, some pals will farm. They all have different properties. So it's just good to know. And I think I don't have any points. We just need one more point and then I can make like a base. I can throw a bed down in it and make the, um, yeah. oops, I wasted that. Make one of these. Now placing this is where your base will be. So as soon as we build this, this acts as kind of like your pokey center thing where you can store all your pals. It also acts as a respawn point and you can fast travel to and from it. So we can open up the management menu. So I can store one in here. I can store one in the base. So now the one in the base will start doing things, start gathering resources. So he just grabbed these berries, so check this out. He's gonna take these to the chest over here. So immediately they start helping you, which is pretty cool. So you wanna have a base pal, and you wanna have like a, you know, your party that you actually bring with you. And what we can do is make more spheres. Uh, make sure you don't accidentally throw them because it can be 
you know, a pain to get more. <laughs> so don't just accidentally throw them like I just did five seconds ago. All right, let's go get more pals. Now you do kind of power level as you get more pals. So the more you get, the easier the game becomes. And each pal does different things, so try to capture different types. But if you have to capture the same types, that's fine too. All right, so let's get this dude to help us. Let's get a nice whack. He's running away from me right now. Sometimes your pal will KO, so you have to be careful. You have to check the health. Oh, right, right there. He killed him right as I went to throw it. That can happen a lot. You can always return before you go for the capture, so you can help him get. You can have your pal help him help you get him to low HP, the enemy, and then you can capture. So, like, if we do something like this, wait for him to attack, return him, and then capture. Then you can throw them back out afterwards. It just prevents them from killing the thing you're trying to capture, which is a serious problem, and you'll run into this a lot. Uh, especially against those harder fights with, like, the more difficult-to-fight pals. So now we have a chicken dude who has different properties. And you can also rename your pals at any time. Uh, just open up Party Menu. Go to Edit. So we can call this dude Cat Bro. <laughs> and then we can call the other guy... Chick P, I guess. All right, so now that's Cat Bro. <laughs> he's very mad too. He's got a, he's got some attitude on him. Uh, but as you're going, you know, collect resources, mine stuff. Uh, at any point in time, you can always create a new crafting table. Just like how in Minecraft, you can create crafting tables wherever you go. So if you bring stone with you and some like basic supplies, or even just a pickaxe and an axe, you can create the stuff to make more pal balls. Now you do heal over time, there is hunger, so it's something to watch out for. Uh, but the starting area has berries you can eat, so you can just like right click on those. Uh, you can feed the pals, feed yourself. Similar to hunger in Minecraft, you just, as long as your hunger meter is full, you'll regain health over time. But we're gathering stone right now. If we wanted to, like let's say we want to capture more things, we can make another primitive workbench. He'll help you build it too, which is cool. And then if you need stones, you can find stones or mine stones. And then if you need more stuff for more pal balls, just look for the ore. Sometimes it's just laying on the ground like this. Other times you can mine it, so the, all these things over here can be mined. And then as you explore and you want to catch, like let's say we want to get a sheep, you just walk over. Let's go for the level one sheep. Now sometimes if you attack one thing, their friends, like the same type, will attack you back. So you have to be mindful of that. And if a, if a pal is stunned, if it has stars above it, you cannot capture it. Your ball will go right through them and you will just waste a pal sphere. So very, very useful to know that. Because sometimes you'll be like, oh, it's stunned, I can capture it. But it actually cannot be captured when it's stunned. It just goes right through them. I don't know if that's a bug right now or if that's intentional, but that is what happens. But yeah, you can make more balls just by grabbing these, <laughs> grabbing these, getting these fragments here. We can go back to that workbench we created or just make a new one. You can just make a bunch of workbenches as you go throughout the game. Just to get yourself started. And then make sure you wait for your meter to refill. And then your pals level up alongside you. So as you level up, they get XP too. So let's go. So right now Cat Bro is level four. He's very confident and sure of himself. Like he should be. All right, make sure... Oh, right, also, if a pal is knocked out like this, you can't capture it. It's just like this forever, as far as I can tell. I don't think you can really interact with it. You can, like, move it. But you can... Here, let me craft another thing. He can move it too, which is funny. <laughs> you can move them, but you can't really do anything with them. They're, they're basically, like, knocked out, and you can't capture them. Basically how it is, like, in Pokemon. If you knock out a Pokemon, it faints, and you can't capture it. Alright, so now we can make more Pal Balls. And he'll actually help you too, which is cool. They speed up productivity. And they like you too. <laughs> and they're your best friends. Alright, so let's go to Party. Uh, another thing too, uh, you can see here Work Suitability. It actually tells you what they're good at. So he can gather, he can mine, he can do handiwork, which is helping you build things and stuff. Uh, he can transport. 
I don't know what transporting does. Maybe it's just moving things into the storage. I think that's what it is. So like if a dude creates, you know, he's like mining and then there's like the rocks, he'll actually walk into the storage. Then over time, like an automate. You can also see their other stats, but each each pal has different things it's good at. So chickpea, uh, gathering one, farming one, uh, the lamb, handiwork one, transporting, farming. So the really basic starter ones can do simple tasks, but the higher level, more sophisticated pals can do things like mining. They can do things like lumber and some have like level two lumber. So they, they harvest it faster. So the better the pal, typically the better the rewards. And also anytime you see a chest, you should always loot it hundred <laughs> percent. Anytime you see something that looks rare, that's free on the ground and you can just take it. We take it. All right. So we got two pal spheres, a mega sphere. Uh, the mega sphere, an item that captures pals when thrown. It, uh, it has improved. So this is like a great ball. So if this is a pokeball. This is like a great ball and it has a capture power as well. So it's pretty useful. All right, and I'm just curious. I don't think these go in accessory. No, I don't think you can put them manually into accessory. Uh, but yeah, we'll worry about these later. But <laughs> for now, you can just ignore it and just save them. Now, if you're on hard mode and you die, you drop all your stuff. You have to come back and get it, kind of like how in Minecraft when you die. On uh, normal mode, I don't think that's a thing. Sometimes you will find pal spheres just kind of laying out. So that's gonna be that can be nice as well. Uh, this resource over here is ore. This is used in different crafting, crafting recipes, but a lot of the early ones don't use it, so you can kind of ignore it early on. You can still harvest it, though, so if you want to grab some ore, you just take a pickaxe and start mining it. You'll eventually start getting ore. So that can be nice. That's ore. But yeah, that's it for the starter guide. Make sure to grab food, keep your dudes fed, and keep yourself fed. It does respawn, so these resources, when harvested, do eventually respawn. <laughs> He's pushing this around. That's so funny, dude. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out. If you found this useful and you want to see more content like this, like guides for this game, I will be doing hard mode guides and other guides and eventually hosting a server for this game once it's out of early access, so you can look forward to that. Uh, we also have channel membership, and I do live stream this game and other games like Fire Emblem. So yeah, thanks for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.